Hi, I'm Eric Most of Most Insurance, and we're often asked, what limits of insurance should you carry? Um, it could be on your home, it could be on your auto, it could be on your umbrella. And, um, and this isn't to really sound too salesy, I, but the truth is, you really should carry as much as you possibly can. Um, on, the, on the auto insurance side, let, let me give you some uh, insider information on how insurance companies actually rate uh, an individual driver. It's based on uh, several components. One is um, your credit. How good your credit is, is uh, matters greatly with the likelihood of, uh, of having a claim. Um, I know that many might say that's unfair, but statistically speaking, that's what we see. Uh, a second a very important thing is the amount of coverage that you carry. Statistically speaking, insurance companies find that people that carry higher limits of, of coverage have a less likely chance that they're going to have uh, an accident. And so they actually they, they give you discounts and they give you benefits and, and a lower premium for the more insurance you carry. carry. My wife and I, are, we actually carry 250, 500 limits. That's 250,000 per ac uh, person, 500,000 per accident on our normal auto policy. But then we also have another million dollars of liability on top of that. So insurance companies see that and they say, wow, this guy's concerned about his coverage. So they actually give me more discounts. Now, if you come in and you just say, hey, I want minimum insurance limits, um, insurance companies look at that as a big negative and they literally surcharge you for those limits. And so you will most likely pay significantly more for your insurance than I will. Uh, not because I get any kind of discount, trust me, I wish I did, but it's simply because of the amount of coverage I carry. We find that often within our agency that, that we might have a client leave us for one of the 800 guys out there, um, ones that do a lot of advertising you might know well, um, and they will go and, and they're talking with the 800 guy number on the other line and, and, the, and the guy says, uh, well you don't need coverage that high and literally lower the limits um, for the person so they could save on maybe 15%. But what they're really doing is they're doing a, a, a huge disservice. One, long term, the cost of their insurance is going to go up. If when those clients come back to most insurance because they realize that they didn't have as good limits as they should or another independent agent, um, they're now going to have a higher cost because they have the lower limits of coverage. And then also it opens you up for, um, for lawsuits and for, for struggles. Uh, finally, to me, on the, on, the, on the auto side as well, why I want to carry as much as I can is because I want to get what's called the uninsured or underinsured motorist coverage. And I can only get as much uninsured or underinsured uh, motorist coverage as I have personal liability or the bodily injury. So I carry that $1,250,000 worth of uninsured motors. And what, why that's important is uninsured motors covers you for if you're in an accident and you're not at fault, but you're hurt. Um, this is going to pay for work loss. It's going to pay for somebody to be able to come into your home and help take care of you or your, or your spouse or other people in the vehicle. Um, it has a very wide range uh, use and, and to me is the most important coverage I can carry. Here in Florida and many other parts of the country, uh, there's rampant um, amount of drivers who don't have any insurance at all. Uh, in fact, a couple years ago, the number was actually 38% of all drivers are driving without any insurance. Um, so for me, I want to have that protection as high as possible. And in the long run, it's also going to save me a lot of money. Uh, so whatever you do, make sure you get those high limits of, of liability. And on the homeowner side, I think it's important that you, at as a minimum, that you get $300,000 worth of liability. Uh, again, for me on my umbrella, I have that $1 million that goes on top of my homeowner's policy. And so I need that $300,000 as a minimum requirement. So truly get as much as you can. In the long run, it's actually going to pay off, save you money, and you're going to be properly protected. Because really, you purchase insurance to make sure uh, you're taken care of if there's a claim. So go out there, take a look at your policies, call an independent agent, call, call Most Insurance if we can help you, and we'll explain those coverages and uh, give you more detail and, uh, and, and, and happy to help you any way we can. Have a wonderful day, all right?